Thoracic surgery is a, is a very broad term, but it, in essence, it means a surgery of the chest. It usually involves an incision or multiple small incisions on a person's side or even their back. And we can use those incisions to gain access to the chest. A lung resection is a broad spectrum of types of surgery that we do on the lung. It can involve removing a small part of the lung called a wedge resection, or it can involve removing one of the lobes of the lung. The most common operation is called a lobectomy, which is removing one lobe but we may have to do a bilobectomy, which is removal of two lobes, and in some cases we have to remove the entire lung on one side, and that's called a pneumonectomy. We've moved towards a more minimally invasive approach overall. So whereas in the past, for our standard open operations, we've made very large incisions, we're making smaller incisions. There are benefits of minimally invasive surgery uh, that include less pain, faster recovery, uh, a shorter hospital stay. We're also using a technology called video-assisted thoracic surgery where we make several small incisions and use a camera, much like laparoscopy in the belly, to perform what we used to do through a larger incision. Yeah, there's no question that thoracic surgery is associated with pain, but we've come a long ways in terms of managing this pain. Patients oftentimes receive what's called an epidural catheter which is a small, flexible catheter that goes into the back, and that provides outstanding pain control afterwards. Pain control is very, very important because we want our patients to be up, walking around on the day of surgery, um, and to be participating in breathing exercises. So after lung surgery, we like to see the patients up the same day in a chair, on post-operative day one, which is the day after surgery, we like the patients to walk, and most patients can walk a half a mile after thoracic surgery. On day two after the surgery, most people can walk an entire mile over the course of an entire day. And the goal there is to prevent pneumonia. The recovery time depends on the type of thoracic surgery someone's having. If we do, for instance, a minimally invasive wedge resection of the lung, which is taking out a small piece of the lung. A patient might even get out of the hospital in a day. If we are removing a portion of the lung called a lobectomy, the patient may be in the hospital anywhere between three to four days. When a patient has had thoracic surgery and they're discharged from the hospital, they will need very minimal help when they're at home. Uh, typically, uh, there's no wound care that's necessary other than not immersing in water, such as swimming pools or hot tubs. Uh, typically, patients don't have drains when they go home. Other than lifting weights, doing push-ups, doing pull-ups, or boxing, and in essence, anything that affects the upper extremities, we expect our patients to do when they go home. So very few people need help. There will no doubt be a, a period of several weeks after the operation where uh, there's recovery, but over the course of six to eight weeks, the breathing improves markedly. Certainly within eight weeks, people can be back on their bicycles, they can be back running, they can be back in the gym. Um, they can go back to living a normal life um, full of activity and fitness. There are several things a patient can do to prepare for thoracic surgery. One of the most important things is exercising. So if you don't have an exercise program, then walking a mile daily prior to surgery. If you have an exercise program, don't stop whatever you do prior to surgery. Oftentimes when we see a patient in clinic, we provide a, a, a breathing instrument where they can practice breathing. It's good to try to learn how to use that little breathing machine before you get into the hospital. A patient who is exercising, participating in breathing exercises, and is not smoking is going to benefit the most from the surgery and be at least risk for lung problems after the operation.